For this project, we went to the reservoir and we learned about all the living organisms and how the water and carbon cycle work. And as you can see here, this is the woods area that we learned about trees and how to measure them and see how many logs you can get out of it. These are some of the animals that you can see at the reservoir, and if you look closely through the woods, you can see them, and some of them walk through. If you look closely in the water, you can see all the organisms live. There are people who work there, and if you ask them anything about the animals in the pond or in the woods, they will let you try to find them. And if you're looking in through the water, they will give you a little nuts with a guide to tell you what the organism looks like. The animals that you see here are clips of animals that have been caught or have been found and preserved in the bodies. These animals are also common that if you see frequently in the reservoir. Earlier in the video, we mentioned nets, and this is what we were talking about. So if you ask the people who work there, this is what you get to do to catch the living organisms. This is a model of the reservoir, and the worker was telling us about how the water flows through the reservoir and how the dams work. She also taught us some history on the reservoir. During this video, we were walking through the woods, and she talked to us about how old the trees were and the types of bugs that affect the trees. Also, the kind of animals that you would find that live in the trees and some near the reservoir water. She also talked about why they don't cut down the trees or chop up fallen trees because other organisms make homes out of them. And if they're shipped to another place that doesn't have these bugs, they can end up getting them.